And then the fact that kind of can uh, segue us into your business because now you have an idea of community. <clears throat> now you have an idea of community. Now you can, is that part of your why when it came to building the business besides the health part? Like, why am I doing business? Um, well, for me specifically, um, it was more like a lifestyle, you know, um, I guess just monetizing my lifestyle um, and my journey that I was on. Um, just, you know, just people really close to me um, dying, uh, you know, early, uh, prematurely. And um, that just affected me in a certain way and also motivating me to not, you know, try to go out like that, you know. Um, so I decided to uh, change my health, you know. Um, I, you know, thought I might die from cancer because, you know, my people died from cancer and it runs in the family. And um, so I, I was just motivated from that to do something different, you know, at an early age. So um, that's specifically what happened for me. But um, just to, while I'm on the journey uh, of changing my life, I've seen other people was on the same uh, path that I was on and um, looking for the same products and things, you know, resources that I was looking for. Uh, and a city like Dallas is really scarce. Like there's pockets of people who are into this stuff, but we had to sh buy it online for the most part, you know, or go to Atlanta or somewhere like that um, to, to get access to these things. So um, just being able to see an opportunity to, to help people along their path um, while I was online too is uh, where my business uh, was birthed. I like that. Okay, so let's talk about, Tell the people, what is your business? What do you do? What do you sell? What are your services? What do you offer? Hey, man, say, man, we are the Alkaline Hour. <laughs> we sell natural herbs, medicinal seeds, and flowers to get, you know, to keep your life together, man. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're dying disproportionately um, due to different health disparities, whether if that is heart attack, stroke, diabetes, cancer, you name it, man. Our communities are... Uh, highly afflicted um actually so uh parkland uh health and dallas county they got together in 2019 did a what they call that comprehensive health survey on all the residents in dallas county and you know the county is bigger than the city okay um they they basically came up and said if you live south of i-30 your life expectancy is less, 30 years less than your counterparts that live above I-30, okay? So that's basically what we're in. 75216 is one of the most uh, top five unhealthy zip codes in Dallas. Um, that's where my story is, you know? That's down um, before retirement. Yeah, now fact. So we're trying to um, to uh, change the health narrative in our city. You know, Anna, bro, we have a lot of people that travel, that fly in, that drive in, that we ship across the country things of that nature too, but um, we're definitely trying to change the, uh, working towards changing the health narrative in Dallas. Man, that's, that, that's huge. Uh, yeah, that's 30 years. That's, that's like missing out on retirement completely, like working all the way and then being like, well, I guess that's it. You know, it happens yeah. all the time, bro. It happens all the time, every yeah. day. Yeah. And I, and I seen that, and you know, I went vegan long ago. I've been, I've been pretty bad at it here recently, but I was vegan pretty straight for almost a good 10 years. Um, and my journey pretty much started kind of like what you said, like whenever you're going into deep diving about subjects and different things and things happening in your life, it's just kind of kind of a culmination of things that happen. You're looking something up, something happens to you, you look this up, it brings up this, and you're like, who is this person? Sabi, looking at this guy, Dr. Leala Africa, what is he talking about? You know what I mean? or. And next thing you know, you deep diving down rabbit holes and then you're wondering, like, how come I didn't know about this information before? Right. You know what I mean? And it gives you um, uh, joy once it starts, when you start actually applying it to your life and then it starts making changes and affecting you. And then you want to actually uh, present that to the public as an option and as a business. And I think that's the best kind of way to do business. It's like good karma business. I always be like, hey, you can... You can own a tow truck, right? But you can either go tow somebody's car because they didn't pay their uh, car note, or you can go help people on the side of the road who get stuck. Which which way do you want to go? Which kind of business do you want to be? I never wanted to be the other kind. That's why they always messed up, man. So I think that's that's real huge. 
that uh the type of business that you have and, and the reasons why you went into it uh now now 